Hi guys, welcome back to Simproved. Fry speaking here, and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are going to build the Spellman Mortuary from the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, a Netflix series, and it has been highly requested, and I tried my best to recreate it in the Sims 4 for you guys. And yeah, it has been challenging, but I thought that I made it. So without further ado, let's get started. So welcome in or to Windenburg, which is a world that you get if you have the get together expansion pack and it is a 64 by 64 lot so this is on the biggest lot size that we have and i needed this because i also wanted to have like a certain environment around the house that you could see in the show i have been looking up a lot and lot of reference pictures, walkthroughs. Again, I looked up lots of articles about the set designers, production designers, where they shot it, etc. And then we will talk about this a little bit later into the video. But first of all, let me talk a little bit about the house and how I came up with the idea to do it now. So first of all, this is Booktober on my channel. In October, we only do spooky builds. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is cert most certainly a kind of spooky, more scary kind of series. But I would say that it's appropriate for teens. So this makes it the first, I think, um, rebuild of a series kind of thing or based on a movie that I do for this Booktober that is also maybe watchable by my younger viewers. And if you have Netflix, I most certainly can recommend you to watch it. So for those who are a little bit older like me, they may also remember the Sabrina sitcom kind of comedy uh, sitcom in the 90s which is something that i grew up with and and this is like the chilling adventures of sabrina is more based on the comic books and therefore it's a little bit more darker it's not like a funny thing with like a laugh track and stuff but they are most certainly of course the same kind of uh, characters living in there and this house is so distinct that a lot of you and i mean a lot of you have asked for it and especially now that the sims team made like a collaboration with kern and chipka who plays sabrina in the series with the sims where she is like there's like a tweet maybe i can put this in here i'm not sure because of copyright but yeah basically when i saw this tweet i was like okay you guys have been asking for it the sims team is even collaborating with the series or at least with the you know with the um with the actors and I was like okay so apparently also Realm of Magic was of course a little bit based on that series so they wanted to have some influences or they had some influences from the series and taking that into the Realm of Magic gameplay pack and since this is like the last pack that we got this is just like a perfect thing to do now so this house the exterior of this house is based on a real house in Salem, Massachusetts, I think, and it's called the House of the Seven Gables because there's also like um, yeah, a book about it. And they didn't use the exact same house. This is a replica they built just for the exterior in North Langley. And then they shot like we all like all the issues that I always have with, with these <laughs> kinds of builds that are based on movies. They do the exterior shot somewhere else and then they have a whole stage set up somewhere else where they do the interior. So sometimes, of course, here especially the interior won't align with the exterior, if, especially if you look up some of the stills of this house or like some screenshots of the series or watch the series yourself you can see some kind of windows that are definitely not on the exterior so i was like okay so <laughs> i have to yeah i have to change a lot here for the sims to make it work because you, you know we have this grid system some some things will never line up in proportion but i tried my best to fit the layout into this house and i especially wanted to have the house look like the house looks in the series of course then outside there is a little graveyard because the house is a mortuary and uh, they have like a little graveyard in front which we can see a lot of times in the series and the house itself isn't like a very lush green it's very grayish very kind of old 
timey looking, so to speak, not very high up capped from the outside. So there's lots and lots of thorns uh, and like dry ivy and stuff um, growing around the house, uh, which I could use with a vampire pack thorns and rose bushes, dried out rose bushes uh, that we got with these packs. So again, uh, you can see that the vampire gameplay pack and the realm of magic gameplay pack kind of, they fit together. Like these are just, yeah, these are brother and sister, whatever, god and devil, <laughs> take it as you will, but they definitely need to be together kind of you know if you like these kinds of builds if you like these kinds of supernatural um, darker gameplay these kinds of packs are a little bit more for you especially for me because I like this kind of stuff like I don't want to play with like a normal human family for me that's like a little bit more boring I really want to escape you know real life and play with vampires and witches and I don't know ghouls zombies and werewolves and ghosts for me that's just way more interesting so I thought this is like the perfect house for it as well. So um, the series is set in the fictional town of Glendale and they filmed Glendale in Metro Vancouver in Canada and also in some parts like the exterior houses of some other, um, you know, like shops and stuff and especially the school that Sabrina visits is in Cloverdale. And yeah, like I said, usually they only do the exterior shots then and then they move on to the stage and do the interior shots because they have the whole stage set up with lights and everything. We talked about this, why they do this, because it's just way more easier to control how the interior looks like, how big the rooms especially has to be. You can change a lot, like removing walls so that the camera team and all the team behind the camera can fit into there when they are shooting. And here it is the same. So I looked basically a lot at the um, original house uh, with the seven gables or of the seven gables and uh, the uh, shots from the, the series. And in the series, it's said that Clendale is kind of like a foggy, more darker kind of place. So it always fits as it, or it looks like there's always Halloween. And this is also why at some point in this series they have lots and lots of pumpkins because there's a Halloween special, of course, a special episode there. And I thought we need lots and lots of pumpkins then as well. So I try to do my best and look up like some kind of scenes and try to recreate that as best as possible. And here we are already in the interior design. By the way, I looked at lots of interior design BTS behind the scenes kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, I also looked up some articles where the production designer, etc., were like talking and had had like some interviews with them. So that was actually very really interesting. Some of the colors of some of these things aren't, of course, matchy matchy because in The Sims 4 we don't have a color wheel. Otherwise, I would have changed a little bit. And here you can already see that the amazing stairs that you can see even in the trailer of the Sabrina series looks quite distinct. And I'm really happy that I could fit it into the house, which is actually for my taste a little bit small but it's actually like a huge space wonder like i should build more houses like these in my opinion the layout especially for sims playing is really good so we will have five bedrooms and here we'd go with the entrance hall foyer kind of stuff with lots and lots of paintings on the wall, little knit necks. It's highly cluttered even in the series and I didn't want to use that much light to have it, to make it look a little bit more eerie and also look like use darker colors but I didn't want to use all black because I didn't do that in the series as well. Um, they basically just take a lot of darker browns in my opinion and uh, because of the poor lighting not say I don't want to say poor lighting because it's a TV series of course there's lots of lights but you know they wanted it to look very dark and mysterious in the interior as well but also very cozy because basically two witches and her knees uh, are living there and also like the cousin Ambrose is living in the attic and here we go the second that i did after the foyer kind of hallway thing 
is the mortuary office. So that's apparently right next to the entrance. I had to switch here a little because yeah, the layout is of course not matching to the exterior of the house. Um, so we have lots of urns on one side. Uh, I had especially looked at some, lots of pictures here to see how some stuff is decorated and what they have in there. So I really tried my best to have it as highly detailed and as looking as lived in as possible. So if you have a Sabrina kind of witch or some kind of witch coven, they could live there. Like it looks really really cool it is more on the cozy vibe it's not like gothic castle like we did for example with the Adams family where i really wanted it to go with the old english mansion kind of style here we go way more american in my opinion which is of course not my strongest i don't know like look because i'm german and um i have never seen these kinds of houses of course in real life like you know, it's always a difference if you see them from a day-to-day -day basis, like I do with mansions and castles and stuff, and or baroque, uh, you know, old-timey classic buildings, and then you have something that is also old-timey and classic, but like from a totally different cu culture. So I definitely need more uh, reference pictures and stuff like that to make it look as close to the original as possible and then of course with the restrictions of the sims 4 it's not always that easy but yeah i really love the kitchen um i had to uh redo or like imagine some of the things because in the sims 4 we don't have all of the stuff for the layout for example it's like a two it's like parted into two which you can see here and for example the stove actually is like a huge old stove with like kind of like a fireplace made into like a stove top that's really really interesting but i couldn't rebuild this here in the sims 4 because of the space that i had for all these rooms and therefore i also wasn't sure if it's working in the sims and especially a house isn't working if your sims can eat or prepare food in there so i went with the safe route here and put like a normal stove, a normal fridge, a normal sink in here. Uh, but I tried it to look as uh, close to the original as possible. So we go with the green green counters and uh, green, I don't know, cabinets and stuff. Like there's lots and lots of green in there and lots of decoration. And especially I like this bench that I have on one of the tables, which is not working in The Sims because this is considered like a sofa in The Sims, so they can't eat there. But you know, in real life you could, so I put some other uh, stools around it so your Sims can really sit and eat there. The uh, living room is especially, or was especially tricky because it's actually like, I think uh, even octagonal room. At least it has six or eight doors in the stage for him that they built on the stage and that didn't make sense in my layout as well so I just went with uh, some of the layouts for example how the sofa is proportional to the armchairs and where the fireplace is we have lots and lots of more windows I don't even know if they have any windows in the living room in the series but yeah we try our best here so we have lots and lots of clutter some books as well also that tiny um, table with the two red chairs is there as well in the series but uh, yeah like I said some of the you know um, doors etc won't line up I just I needed uh, to do the layout of course differently as it is on the set because the set would I don't think that the set would ever fit into the real house <laughs> that I showed but yeah, I tried my best to recreate it as best as possible. Of course, we go with lots and lots of knickknacks and clutter. I also placed some bunny statues in there because in one of the behind the scenes things, they say that they lot used lots and lots of bunny statues because these are kind of related to witchcraft. It's kind of like a symbol of witchcraft, which is something I didn't know before. I only know that like bunnies are considered linked to the moon in Japanese, for example. Um, but yeah, that was new. I only thought it's like black cats or so. <laughs> but yeah, that's really, really interesting. And um, next to the kitchen, going into the living room is the green room, like the herb room, whatever. And this is something that is featured highly in the series as well. So Hilda, Aunt Hilda, who lives there as well, is very much into plants. She's also like the cook. She's more of a, like a nice switch, so to speak. 
and uh, her sister on Zelda uh, is more of like a darker witch who is way more um, about like what other people think about her etc like she's a little bit more yeah let's just say elegant and sophisticated but also a little bit you know arrogant elegant and arrogant kind of that rhymes so that's nice so yeah we use lots and lots of um rose thorns here as well or like the thorn vines whatever these are from the vampire pack and then lots and lots of quirky looking plants so uh, it looks like a little bit like the greenery as well and i was happy that i could fit this in because this was actually a room that i wanted to scrap because i was like huh? where did they put this like there are not enough light we scrapped the green room as well in the american horror story coven house and people have been complaining, I know, but it seems to be in the basement and I just didn't want to put like greenery in the bed. Like for me, it just, I hate this whole stage and then doing the exterior somewhere else. I know it's not possible otherwise, but it's just, sometimes it doesn't make any sense what they're doing. <laughs> and my German heart is like, it doesn't make sense. There's no logic, I hate it. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually very, very fun to try to recreate it in The Sims and I think by the way, there have been lots and lots of Sims 4 versions of this house already. So I was kind of like, uh, do we really need this? Will I even, you know, give it, bring it, give it justice? Still, I still haven't, don't know how that phrase goes long. But yeah, um, that, is it really necessary that I can do this? Um, here we are in Sabrina's room, by the way. Um, and uh, I think that mine is like the most detailed one, but mine also, I guess, took more time. So, uh, yeah, so if, you, if you have 16 hours on your hands, you can rebuild this as well. <laughs> but yeah, here we are in Sabrina's room and she has this really round window, which we also can see from the exterior. We can see that one. So I placed somewhere. So we at least have this round window, which is very distinct with white bedding. She actually has like a um, darker, I think even black uh, metal frame of the bed, which we don't have in The Sims, so we only go with white here. Um, I did put some things in that we definitely see in the series. So for example, there is a little vanity with lots and lots of photos and pictures around. We have the red bag, which is here, if he is, backpack I'm sorry there's also a little witch kind of dollhouse so we have that here as well and then later on I will also put a black cat statue there because this is supposed to be Salem her trusty black cat familiar who in the series is basically a goblin and goblins can transform in any animal or shape I think they want and he chose to be a black cat so to speak but actually he's a goblin which is actually a really interesting idea because in the 90s version Salem had like a different backstory and was like a, uh, a human turned into a cat or something but yeah here we are in one of the bedrooms that is also highly featured a lot in the series because I well I don't want to spoil it but there is like this one bathtub with a little dresser behind and I wanted to have this here as well because we can see it in the series and then the rest behind the on the other side must have been some sort of sink and toilet and since we never see that one I was like oh we have total freedom on the other side <laughs> but yeah there are up to three bathrooms in this whole house two are upstairs one is downstairs and uh, yeah, like I said, we use lots and lots of clutter and knickknacks, lots of candles, indirect lighting, you know, uh, I actually never wanted to use any ceiling lights because these are like too broad sometimes. So we use lots of wall sconces and like candles and little kind of tiny um, floor lamps, I guess you would call them. And here we are, for example, in the bedroom of Hilda and Zelda, because I didn't even know that. Like I was watching the whole series again, just to do this year. And I was like, oh, these two sleep in the same room. Like I totally did not notice when I watched this like the first time. So yeah, these share one bedroom, have two different beds, separate beds, have a vanity, have a closet um, and stuff like this. So uh, we go with a different layout a little bit, but these two beds are definitely next to each other. First I thought, are they sleeping the same bed? What? <laughs> but yeah, they are different beds, I think. Hardcore fans may correct me here. Um, but yeah, they barely show it. And then we go into the other bedroom, which is actually supposed to be in the attic. Um, the attic is not um, accessible in my version because Sims, 
roofs will always go over the room and then you can't see into the room basically it's non-playable so i remade the attic a little bit or made this room to look a little bit more like an attic so we have some walls we have some friezes and spandrels to make it look like an attic so we also have uh, some uh, wood paneling on the sides on the on the walls and he has actually like a little nook where he sleeps but here we have uh, this huge bed with some quilted bedding or plate padding I'm not sure what you call it in English um, which he has in the bedding in his little sleeping nook as well so and over the sleeping nook is actually like a colored glass um, window which we don't Right, we had this, but this would have messed up the whole exterior of the house. So I chose kind of like a emblem, like a colorful round um, emblem symbol on the wall to kind of, you know, try to recreate that in the Sims. Hey, I tried my best to recreate it. But yeah, so basically all of the people who live there in this house, in the series, can also in their Sims form live there. So we have one for cousin Ambrose, we have one bedroom for Hilda and Zelda and we have one for Sabrina so uh, no wait we have like three bedrooms sorry we have three bedrooms for four people there we go why did I say five all the time and here we are in the last bit since this is a mortuary there's an embalming room or morgue I don't know where the difference in English is I guess morgue is more for uh, if you cut them open to see why, you know, for autopsies and stuff. And a bombing room is basically, I think, more for preparation for an open casket. So here I called it a morgue, but, you know, basically the layout is kind of like the same. We don't have an operating table, like a metal table where you can put sims on. So I used the medical bed from the get to work thing. And then, of course, I needed the freezer things where you put the corpses in which of course we don't have in The Sims, but uh, I tried to recreate this here with some um, funky looking, uh, I think these are lights. And then I put these on a, onto one, on, this one is like a billboard. These are supposed to be like the little slates where they, you can, uh, you know, get your corpses out. I'm not sure how to explain it. I'm German, I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, this is basically the whole, built guys here we go into the beautiful video tour which we always do in the in this game so you can see how this whole house looks like and uh, if you have a little bit more time look at this it looks really really beautiful for those who haven't watched the series this is like a really really cool series in my opinion just try it out maybe you'll like the first two episodes or so and then you're hooked if you're not then don't watch it it's okay but this is definitely more like for teens. It's not that, like teeny, like I'm not a teen and I actually really like it. So uh, yeah, I, but it's definitely not gory or super horror. It's just, it has some creepy, scary kind of looks sometimes in the, in the series. Like uh, it's definitely not for kids, but definitely from teen on, you can watch it, no problem. Um, and yeah, I really like the house, by the way, it took, me a lot to figure out all of the proportions and stuff but uh, I tried to put in as many details as we could see in the series I put this here as well of course it's like my Sims 4 version if I would have done it really like it is in the series I guess it would have looked a little bit more boring and uncluttered in the Sims so uh, this is my version how you could have this house in the Sims 4 and I really hope that you like it. Here's the staircase for ye kind of thing. I really like the stairs. We did the same stairs almost in the Coven House, American Horror Story Coven House last time. And here's the kitchen. I really like how the light goes through the windows at dawn. So that's really, no, dawn, dusk. Is dusk? Yeah, dusk, at dusk. Yeah, English language. But yeah, the kitchen is very, very detailed and cluttered. I really like the whole look of it. And of course it took me some time. I think I already said that it took me about 16 hours to build this whole house. But it was worth it. Like it was one of my favorites to do because I really like the show and it's kind of still fresh. The American Horror Story Coven one, I really liked the show, but it was like an old, you know, it's like not airing anymore. So it was kind of hard to come by lots of 
infos about this. But yeah, here we go with the a living room which is also kind of really nice in my opinion I like the whole look of the series that it's kind of like cozy you know it's not like this eerie castle thing it's very cozy and I actually really like that especially like how I did Ambrose attic even though I was like Ugh, how can I make this work but in my opinion it looks like an attic kind of you know very detailed even though it's just a room in the sims 4 but i liked it very very much by the way if you want to download this i will put the download link as always in the video description down below for you guys so go ahead and grab it there and also you can find it in the sims 4 gallery if you search for it for sabrina spellman house i think i just called it i was kind of unclever for that but yeah my ea id is improved if you want to go by AID so yeah we have that all covered you can find it now and uh, I hope that you can play with it and that it's possible to replay the whole series again I also want to thank you all for your suggestions about the new horribles that you want to see and this house has been requested a lot of times so like a lot since the show aired a lot of simmers wanted to to have this so here you go i think this is like the most detailed one in my opinion i wouldn't say it's the best from the layout so to speak but it's the most detailed one and i wanted to try to put in as much from the series as possible and also have like an awesome lot where it is situated on etc so yeah i really hope that you like it guys <laughs> it's definitely a little bit more eerie and uh, darker but also kind of whimsical quirky you know like it is in the series so it fits into the sims 4 a little bit more in my opinion here we go with some extra night shots because it looks way more creepy than i really love pumpkins on the front porch which is really really cool nice little detail that i put in there i put way more pumpkins than there are in the series but who cares i i just needed these pumpkins <laughs> But yeah, it looks really, really cool in the night as well. So I really hope that you like it, guys. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs, thumbs down. I can't speak English today. I'm sorry. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like Sims 4 builds, especially now in October we do spooky builds from spooky series and movies and stuff. So put in your suggestion down below and I will try my best to recreate them. And yeah, that is basically it. This is the Spellman Mortuary from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina from the Netflix series. And I hope I did it good in The Sims 4. And thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon.